Paul, it's uh, always tough to win in Ohio. Uh, obviously, this weekend didn't go how you wanted it. Were you able to figure out what happened? Uh, yeah, I think that um, you know the first night um, was more or less execution. Uh, we weren't really um, doing what we do in our systems well. So, uh, you know, over the meetings uh, throughout the day on Saturday, we we watched some video, tried to correct those things, and um, you know, Saturday came out. We uh, we felt we <clears throat> correct a lot of those, but then turns out penalties were you know a major problem for that night. Yeah, obviously, and and on on Saturday the the, the power play unfortunately uh, you got one in eight chances, and that really set the tone I thought for the whole weekend. Yeah, um, their penalty kill was, uh, you know, ultra aggressive, something I don't think we were used to. We really had uh, not a lot of time and space to make plays. Uh, so I guess we were kind of out of our, out of our comfort zone, and I think that is, uh, you know, definitely the main reason why we only had one power play goal this weekend, and power plays are crucial in, in, uh, in hockey. So, you know, when you don't convert, when you get all those chances, it definitely hurts you. Now you go from playing on the small ice surface at the Bird to this weekend when you go on the Robert Morris and playing on the Olympic size rink at the, at the Island Sports Complex, what adjustments do you have to make this week in practice? Um, I think we have to, you know, do some, um, you know, drills that emphasize our speed and quick transitions with the puck. Um, you know, with the open ice surface, speed's definitely, um, you know, a, a much more of a factor. Uh, you have so much more room. So, well, you will definitely, um, Balbs and, and Coach Handel, absolutely, they always do this, put in, um, you know, specific drills that help us out for, uh, to get ready for, you know, whatever whatever size she device we're playing on. The biggest problem, of course, with the adjustment is uh, keeping the game too far out on the perimeter. You really got to keep it inside the face-off circles. Yeah, that's one of the things that can happen. Um, you know, it's like on the power play, uh, guys will get too spread out. Guys will, um, you know, overcompensate for the room they have and, you know, take too much of it. Um, we absolutely have to keep in mind that, um, you know, we have to tighten up our tighten up our systems, keep everything kind of, you know, closer in, even though we have all that room. Because uh, if we stretch ourselves out, it, things won't work for us. You're still ranked 10th, um, kind of on the top of the bubble, I guess, if you will. But obviously now, especially after last weekend, every game becomes important. Absolutely. Um, you know, after this weekend, we really don't have much more room for error. So, you know, every game for us is big. Um, you know, we can't afford too many more losses, you know, if any. So we really have to come out and play our best hockey for the rest of the way. I know I've asked you this, and I've asked some of the other guys this before. Is there a feeling of pressure in the locker room with all that's going on around the program? Uh, as in, I think there is actually more pressure after the Ohio weekend. I don't think anything, do you, were you talking about the D1 stuff? I don't really think that uh, that's too much of a factor. I think it's just really feeling the pressure now that we uh, had the opportunity to get a big win at Ohio, one or two, and we didn't get any. I think that's the most pressure we can feel right now. Um, the fact that we really have not a lot of room for error anymore.